Have you heard of TikTok? Well, it's one of the fastest growing platforms in the world and there are 689 million users of the app, particularly with a younger audience. And if you go on the app, you will see such a wide range of content on there. There's dances, there's educational videos, there's fun videos, all sorts of range of content there that the demographic, which are mainly young people, are posting on there. So with this app that is still quite new, that is still in many ways a little bit random in terms of the range of content on there and the, di the diversity of content that you may see on the app. How can we use it as churches? Well, I talked to one vicar who has lots of followers on TikTok and, and just some of the journey that she's been on in using the app. So let's hear her interview now and let's explore this idea together of using TikTok as a church. Come with me now. Come with me now. Come with me now. What Bible verse lives in your head rent free? For me, John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Those who believe in me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Answers to questions video part one. How to become a Christian. Well, if you want to become a Christian, the first thing that you need to do is pray to God. Now, you don't need any special words or prayers. You just need to talk to him. I the opportunity to pray for you. So today I'm going to pray for our church here at Westham, for all the people who live in this community. And we pray that the Holy Spirit will pour out his love and his peace and his justice on this place. It's so good to see you. Do you want to tell us who you are and where you are in the world? Yeah, absolutely. Um, my name is Reverend Dan and I'm the vicar of Christ Church at Westham. And Westham is a little town in between Preston and Blackpool. So that's northwest England. Oh, fantastic. Now, a lot of churches use Facebook. They might use Twitter. They might use Instagram. But you use a social media that perhaps many people, uh, certainly churches, haven't explored yet. Um, tell us what is that that social media and principally how do people use it? Well, um, we've started posting on TikTok. Um, I got into TikTok initially because um, I've got teenagers and if you want to talk to your teenagers, you've got to be on TikTok because <laughs> that's where they are. Um, and so we started posting as a church uh, just before lockdown. And then during lockdown, God's really taken that and exploded it. Um, and we've been we, we post about five or six times every week, um, just very short videos um, about all sorts of things. The idea being that we're just trying to put some just some really solid, good Christian content into a incredibly non-Christian environment. Because that's the thing, like for TikTok, um, a lot of people perhaps associate with, with a lot of dances mm -hmm. um, and, and lots of, you know, content of that narrative. But to say, you know, to put Christian content is like really interesting for churches. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess what, what has been your journey? So you wanted to, you know, you saw your teenagers were, <laughs> were using it. Um, <laughs> so you, you jumped on it. And yeah. what's happened since then? How have you used it? It's gone crazy, really. I think God has taken something that um, I, I, we were just putting our toes in the water and he's kind of exploded it in, in an awesome way. Um, in we, we At the moment, we have about 45,000 followers. So we've sort of got quite a lot of people who watch us every day or most days. And what I tend to do is I take videos or dances on occasion um, and trends that um, everybody else is copying, which is that's what TikTok is. People create a video and everybody else copies them and they quite often put their own little spin on it. So I take these videos that everybody else is doing and I just put a Christian spin on the end of it um, and, and then post them out and people seem to like them. Um, and we, you know, the, vi the videos vary. Some videos we get sort of three or 4,000 people watching them. And some videos we get 3 million people watching them. So it, it just varies hugely. Um, you and, know, and those numbers are huge. <laughs> like they're, they're absolutely huge. I mean, I guess it's just not what you expected really from, you know, you were, you were just dipping your toe in the water and that's what happened, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and we'd not been posting on TikTok very long when one of our videos exploded and became very popular. Um, and we, we had sort of a couple of million people who watched that video. And off the back of that, 
um, we then started to grow. Um, and at that point, we sort of said, oh, we probably better to do this a little bit more seriously than <laughs> just messing about, um, which is what we were doing before. We were just talking really previously. We were talking to our kids, you know, our teenagers um, who go to the local schools where we live. And that was what we were doing. We were just talking to our kids. And then all of a sudden, people from all over the world started watching us. And we thought, <laughs> oh, we probably better actually, you know, put a bit of effort into it. <laughs> Do it a bit serious, which is what we've done since. Because <laughs> it is, you know, it's extraordinary. There, there are vast numbers um, of people engaging. And have you, you know, have you received reaction from different people? I mean, I know, you know, people can, if they, I mean, you know, I know, appreciate people watching this are, they have got clear TikTokers <laughs> to people who've been using it a long time, but people can kind of interact a little bit, can't they? Um, yeah. And you know, have you had much reaction from people in terms of comments or anything? Yeah, we have. Initially, I didn't put comment because you, as a creator, you can decide whether you want people to be able to comment on your videos or not. Um, and initially, I didn't put comments on. Um, and after we'd been posting for about six months, we really felt that God was saying, you need to switch these comments on now. Wow. Um, and the blessing that we've received through switching comments on has been phenomenal. Mm. Bearing in mind that the majority of people who follow us are non-Christians. This is a, wow. a predominantly non christian environment um, and yet we get comments every single day people saying things like um i don't go to church but i quite like you and um i don't really believe in anything but actually what you've just said has brought me a lot of hope or a lot of peace wow. or a lot of comfort and then we get people saying oh this is interesting can you tell me more about christianity i mean that's just all it's like gold dust isn't it you know for people to actually come to us and say, I like that, what you've just done, and I really want to know more about Jesus. It, it's it's awe-inspiring. Um, and so from the back of that, we've then been able to, because um, TikTok isn't the place to create Christians, it's the place to sow the seeds. Wow. Um, and so what we do is we then, I then uh, push people into our YouTube channel, which we have then, you know, finders courses, seekers courses. We talk people through making a commitment of faith. Um, and we can see a direct correlation between people who are following us on TikTok, who then start to follow us on YouTube um, and then go through commitments of faith. Um, and we can then direct them off the back of that. Um, and, and so it's been phenomenal. Now, I have, to I have to already sort of, I guess I have to temper this to say that we also get negative comments. Um, and <laughs> so, you know, um, and, and some of them are offensive and some of them are aggressive and we, we mm. can delete those. And so we generally have a policy that we delete most of the offensive comments. We do leave some of them up. If somebody's just disagreeing with us for whatever reason, that just stays, you know, that's okay. People have the right to disagree. Um, but if somebody's offensive, then we do take those down. So part of the ministry of, um, of TikTok is reading the comments. Um, mm. And, uh, you, you know, that, that's, that's really important. And it's important because people ask for prayer. Wow. Um, about, uh, uh, I, I don't know, a few days ago, I put a, a post up saying, does anybody want prayer? Um, you know, can, can I pray for you? Put a, a message in the comments. We had nearly a thousand prayer requests. I mean, you know, and 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 then when we, out, we, we, because every single one of those I prayed for and I put a, a, an answer on there. But then off the back of that, people start replying saying, oh my goodness, my prayer's been answered. Wow, and, you know, and you go, oh, the, the, and this is non-Christians. Um, so it, it's it's awesome. Um, and so people put those prayer requests for those say who don't use the app, j just on that kind of that comments, and and you what, reply to them on the comments as well. Is that kind of how it works? Yeah, wow. yeah. Some people I direct. You can send a direct message to people. So some people I send them a direct message, and some people I then reply on on, on a comment. The difficulty with comments on TikTok is they're very, very, very short. They're limited to only a few words. Um, and so, you know, somebody says, please, can you pray for my mum? She's got cancer. 
that that's as much as they can put on there and really as much as you can put back is to say I'm sorry to hear that I pray for God's healing or you know I pray that God would bless you know would bless her and bless you you don't have a lot of words to be able to get into a big conversation or really into a big debate with people um it is quite short sharp um but then that's actually all you need isn't it yeah yeah um, but th th this is extraordinary because you know for many if you you know if you think of of, of what many churches deem as a ministry or mission or whatever it be mm -hmm. it might be that 40 minute sermon on a sunday <laughs> it, you might do some midweek broadcast or something but tiktok is their small broadcasts aren't they they're kind of a, a, a slight if i call it a slice of life or sli slice of thinking or or a provocative thought or something it's a very it's a very different way of thinking about it isn't it <laughs> bringing the gospel to the world what, what why do you think that it has worked so well um why do you think that is making people think because you know obviously people are enjoying watching aren't they engaging yeah and, and you're right the tiktok videos are 15 between 15 seconds and a minute so they're really, really, really short and you can't get a lot of information in there um, and you can't have a big theological discussion and you can't have a big theological debate because you haven't got time. Um, you know, that has to be done on different platforms. Um, so, you know, we have to push people through to different platforms when they ask questions that need a bigger answer, I guess. Um, but I think the reason why TikTok is so popular um, is or, or, or ministry through TikTok is popular is because TikTok itself is very popular. Mm. You know, there are millions and millions of people across the world who are watching this social media and they are just flicking through their videos and, um, you know, and all of a sudden a video comes up and it says, Jesus loves you. I don't always necessarily like social media, um, but if I want to preach the gospel afresh in this new generation, that's where I've got to be. Mm. Um, and so I think that we kind of have to be a part of it. Um, I think it's, it, it's where society is. I think for people who are looking to start, um, I think I would just say, don't be frightened of it. Um, and you, you know, you don't have to jump on the latest trend for everything it's actually okay to wait for other people to have a go first um and then you follow that, that that's that's an okay thing to do so there we go a quick whirlwind insight into the land of tiktok and how potentially we can use it as churches whether it is tiktok or a brand new app that comes out into the future what opportunity we have to share the gospel so give it a try and see how it works for you